How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Sixkin and welcome back to Battle Chef Brigade. Now I'm sorry if I sound awful, but my hay fever's playing up like crazy. Fucking summer, man. It's the one thing I don't like about it. Like, summer's the greatest because around here usually it's fucking freezing, but... Oh my god, the hay fever. Alright, so we gotta talk to well, Razzle. Been a long road for you, hasn't it, Pumpkin? Sent back home and then brought right back in. I think we have to take on the final three or whatever. Here you are, ready to earn your uniform. It's been a whirlwind, that's for sure. Once you're ready, let me know and we'll head to the Coliseum. Might as well go now. Ready, instructor. Let's break a dish. I wish you wouldn't say that. I don't want to break anything. Protects fragile taste gems for one extra move. Why did I pick that? That doesn't sound like something I'd pick. Did I lose my mind in the last episode? My bad. Two promote sources. Take that. Alright, let's go. Oh, Jesus. I can't let it get in the way of my recording, though. Here we stand, fellow Victusians, on the precipice of greatness. Today, our brave challenger is Mina Han of the Windy Village. Let's hear it. For the Iron Stomach! Mina. Mina! <laughs> Who are the final three then? I haven't even met them yet, In have I? In order to join the ranks of the Battle Chef Brigade, she must fight her way through one final gauntlet. This bout will consist of three rounds. For each round, Mina must triumph over one of our most formidable veterans. Do you fire your veterans afterwards because they suck and they lost? In the spirit of fair play, these veterans will wait several minutes before starting to cook. Ah. Mina, are you ready to take on this challenge? Y yes Then, without further ado, I summon the final three. This could be a long episode. Knife. Knife, fork, and spoon, is it? <laughs> spoon. <laughs> Your name's Spoon. That's fantastic. Well, knife looks badass, but the other two, I don't know. Lieutenants, any words of advice for our chef before you go head to head? Be true to yourself. Of course, you should think about your diner's experience, but make sure you're in love with the dish you're creating. Let's have some fun. The real loser in any cook-off is the one that isn't enjoying themselves. Oh, I like you. Always have a plan and stay sharp. Without focus, any talented chef can lose track of time. Thanks, Master Roshi. Thank you for your wisdom, <laughs> I shall now impart some of my own. Mina, you may face this challenge by yourself, but you have not walked this path alone. In times of doubt, close your eyes and think of your loved ones. You will find their strength inside of you, filling your heart and pushing you to be your best self. Why, thank you. The best chef is the one who understands that bond. One who translates that love into their cuisine. Mina, in this first round, you need only make one dish for our favorite politician, Ambassador Akebo. So do our points stack up for each round or no? I'm no stranger I seem not. to settling diplomatic disputes, but somehow this feels more intense. Best of luck to you, Mina. While surrounded Thank by you. all this, culinary fervor, I'd be remiss not to ask for a bold, fire-laden entree. I'll let this go. Well said. With each round, we will reveal another judge, and you'll need to cook a dish for each. Please don't forget that. I'll try not to. We will also connect the magic portals to a different arena per round. Oh, great. The theme ingredients for this match are special indeed. They represent the most sacred aspects of the brigade. Passion. A brigadier is not simply a chef. They are an ambassador. They spread education and joy where once there was famine and despair. The fire in a brigadier's heart is crafted from their never-ending desire to aid others. There is but one creature in all of Victusia whose fury can match their dragon. Fire. The merciless dragon. Just like at the start. We've gone full circle. Life is like a circle. Amazing. Lieutenant Spoon, 
Lieutenant Four, if you would please return to your stations until it's time for your matches. A former soldier turned brigadier, Lieutenant Knife is equally adept at satisfying discerning pallets and disarming enemies. They call her the Judge's Downfall. On behalf of the Brigade Committee and all of Victuja, vive la Brigade! Whose cuisine will reign? It's Mina versus Lieutenant Knife. Uh, knife's the most badass one. Do one. Got five minutes. Let's go kill a dragon. Yeah. Wrong way. Sunhat tomatoes. I feel like we're gonna lose already. The flavor. It's outstanding. Stuffed dragon shank garnished with Karana wing and Karana nectar medley. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a slow burn, but that makes the fire even more exciting. Incredible. A meal fit for King Heinrich himself. 289. Delicious. Barbecue dragon shank with a slice of boron ribs and boron steak melange. Yeah, we lost. Great mouthful and pickable flavor will be a fine addition to any menu. The judge's downfall has proven to be too much for our competitor. Will all of their hard work be in vain? Mm. Do we don't even time to use the cutting board? Not really. But we'll hang on to it. Let's try that again. I don't think I turned on the fucking... I don't think I turned on the slow cooker. But that sort of fucked us up. Here we go. Take that. No. No. Ow. Fuck you. Alright, you're dead, finally. Grab all your shit, let's go. We only got one health left, we'll die so easily if we're not careful. Ow. We have that. Alright, let's get start cooking. That. That. No, no, burn. There we go. Cook faster. Dragon shank. Another dragon shank. Boring steak. Keep firing crap into it. More crap. Sun hat tomato, I guess. I don't know. Put it in there. Cut the bones out. Oh, that was a mistake. Probably gonna pay for that. Cook. All right, let's go get some more shit. Boring steaks, ideally. Well, bits of boring. I don't really care what bit, actually. If that, these berries are good. Fuck you, birdie. Oh, see those fucking skills. Are you nervous, I am stomach? More than I'd like to admit. <laughs> of we're nervous, you fucking knobhead. We've lost three it. times now, of course we're nervous. You fucking idiot. No, not poison. 
Fuck the no poison. Let's dump all that crap in, and then we will go spicy ketchup like that, and then we can go boring steak. Try and move that out the way, and then we can drop spicy ketchup here. Oh wait. We got a bit of time this time. They must be expanding my time every time I lose or something because I feel like I got a lot more time now than I had. Yes. Which was jack all before. Another one of those berries. Then on the chopping board. Oh. Like the blue's not amazing. But, I mean, it still adds points to the thing, you know? God damn, I gotta stir it so that there's room. Add all that together, chuck it in here. Slow cook. Alright, we're just gonna chill out now. There's not really much else I can do. It's pretty full. I think we got this one now. But maybe the ingredients carry over, I don't know. And if they do, we might as well collect some. Yeah, out of time. I see. Just let the slow cooker do its slow cooking. For another few seconds. Come on. Alright, we're out of time. It'll have to do. Please be good enough this time. It's all I've got in me. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what our judge has to say about your efforts. Come on. Please be good enough. Delicious. Stuffed dragon shanks here with Karana Wing and King Bean Melange. I'm tasting the fiery perfection I was looking for. Exactly like the festivals you mentioned. Nail the smokiness too. That's a lot lower score than you usually get. Usually you get 280. Wow. Barbecue dragon shanks here with dragon shank and boron steak assortment. I love the fire's intensity comes through in every bite. Breathtaking. You certainly have my vote. Finally. That's one down. Two to go. And that was the first one. I assume that was the easiest, because the next ones we have the to cook more than one done. fucking meal for. Mina Han wins. All right. And I've got the wrong cookware for it now. Almost certainly. Beautiful cooking, Mina. I can see the heart you put into the dish. Wow, thank you very much. Mina, you may now take a moment to prepare for round two. We'll begin as soon as you're ready. Can I go back to, like, town and buy stuff or something? Like, obviously I have to change this back because I don't know what I'm cook who I'm cooking for or what they want. And we're cooking for two people now. So we should switch these back so that we can access anything. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. Let round two commence! I don't think I can cope Judges with this. For the second round, our instructor Meriday. We've seen many excellent dishes this year. This entry must be technically perfect to avoid disqualification. I'm asking for a dish only featuring water, but that means the flavor profile must be perfection. You mean only water? Is, nothing else in it? Well, I'm not quite sure who he is. His note just reads, Rudis, actor, artist. Nice speech there, Cherry. Those of us left awake are ready for some good eats. You seem like a douche. <clears throat> These muscles don't feed themselves, you know. Body by earth and water, my friends. The next brigadier you face is known for turning simple meals into exquisite works of art. Diners are always in store for an extraordinary experience with the transformative gastronomer, Lieutenant Spoon. Lieutenant now Spoon! Attention to this round That's hilarious, too. Although I'm scared now. A brigadier understands their limits 
but seeks endlessly to test them. While they may falter when beset with a seemingly impossible task, nevertheless, they persevere. No monster tests a contestant's dexterity better than this next adversary, a being so impregnable it's as solid as the mountains themselves. Only a true battle chef can overcome the unyielding Armorok! Ah, oh, Armorok, that's alright. I can deal with Armorok. Chefs, begin! I know how to kill Armorok. I've killed loads of Armorok. Water and water and earth. Oh, fuck, the ingredients do carry over. Oh well, now we know. We gotta collect the shit out of those. There's an Amarok. Amarok's perfect, um... How did I end up over here? I think I just broke the game. Amarok's perfect because it is water specific. And you wanted a water based dish, right? Usually they drop this shit as you're killing them, not when they die, like most monsters do. Ah! Yeah, like that. See, he just dropped something. Oh wait, that wasn't him. It's the turnips behind him. Fucking son of a bitch! That's okay. It's okay. Don't stress out, it's fine. It's fine, I don't even care. We got this. You take your iceberg turnip and shove it in your ass, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, where was he? I think he was over this way. I wanted my stuff back. That's the one thing I don't like about them, because they knock shit off the fucking shelf. Including all your ingredients. I don't care if you knock me down. Don't knock my ingredients down. That ain't okay. Right, down we go. Alright, let's cook this up. Won't be long. How much time have we got? Not a lot of time. Get the cooking going. Alright, put the armor rock in. More armor rock. Cheap cheese good, but it's got poison. I don't really want to deal with that right now. Iceberg turnips would be perfect for the, uh... The one that likes Earth as well. Put that there. Did not notice that was broken. Maybe we'll turn this into the water Earth dish. Oh, there is poison in here. I didn't even notice. Whoops. Um, never mind. There's some Earth. Uh, fuck. Drop that there. Can't turn that around. I wish you could turn them around. Um, drop that in there. Alright, put that back in there. Let's see if we can drop another iceberg turnip in. This is too hard, man. I had no idea it was going to get so difficult later on. Yes, thank you, Spoon. Thank you. I wanted to join the brigade since my father told me stories about it as a child. You're just like me then. Trust in yourself and you'll bring something new and beautiful to our culinary landscape. I'll do my best. She seems nice considering she's kicking the shit out of us out here. Uh, what else we got? Scowl breast. Uh, there's no room for the scowl breast in there. Uh, what if I... What if I scooch that up that way? Okay, that actually doesn't really help us because the scale burst doesn't really give us anything we can enhance. Uh, move that one there. Okay, that's going to have to be enough because this is taking too long. Here, you take that. Alright, now I need to start something for you. Oh, we need armor rock and shit. We got no armor rock left. Sounded like she wanted it water only and nothing else. She wanted water in it and nothing, nothing that wasn't water. I think she might be asking a little much from us, but we'll see. 
No, not my fucking turnip. I needed that. Ow. Grab that. Those aren't even water at all. Over there. Maybe we just put pure armor rock in there. But that should theoretically be alright, right? I'm gonna kill this bird because I hate him. No, I'm not. Run away. Otherwise, the bird will kill me. Alright, we need to make a water dish. Like fucking yesterday. Armor rock ribs. Cook. Cook. Cook faster. Armor rock liver. Armor rock heart. We got a lot of poison to deal with now. But we'll worry about that later. Fuck. Fuck sakes. Alright, well that made room at least, I guess. Put it in. Like usual, I'm just hoping that one by one dish is good enough to make up for the fact that the other one is crap. I mean, that should work, right? Let's get cooking. I'm trying! Fucking hell, lady! Alright, no, no, that's it. That's all I've got. Here, take this. I'm done. Fuck, I hope that's good enough. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Please be good enough. A delicacy. Karana seed cookies. I've never seen that before. Top with wind fruit and Amarok liver assortment. One, three, five. The brightness of the water is really coming through. Well measured and executed. The ingredients blend together quite well. Alright, 185. Delightful. Amarok chopped flat noodles. Garnished with Amarok liver and Amarok heart assortment. Beautifully hydrating. The water is a nice antidote to the summer day. Alright, we won that one. Your dish is a delight. I'd even make this at home. Even then. Amazing. Oh, that's the best. That looks cool. Slime water mochi. Garnished with fiery sauce and viscid blood assortment. 183. Hey, you got some earth and water in there, huh? Seconds, please? <laughs> He's a simple man, isn't he? To work that off. Armor rock chopped flat noodles topped with armor rock ribs and armor rock heart assortment. Isn't that the same dish I just gave her? I feel like it is. Your dish isn't hitting me in the face with enough water and earth at the same time. You need equal parts of both to keep me interested. Woo, now bake a cake. Wait, that's not how it works? Who won? I didn't even notice. Another stunning victory for the Iron Stomach. We did it. Minaha wins. I did it. All right, one more to go. I can't believe we won that. You definitely got what it takes. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you, Lieutenant Spoon. I'm honored. You are almost there, Mina. Take one last moment to prepare, and then the match that decides it all will begin. All right, well, I'm terrified, but it's time to take on Fork, I believe. Let's continue. We'll run with what we got. For the best. It's how we do. It's just how we do. Fuck knows what we're going to have to do after this. On oh my, my right God. is Pontita. Pontita! Hammer. We should get, like, extra bonus points because we helped her out. Same goes for Hunt Lady. German, Mina, ignore any distractions and focus on your work. Lieutenant... I look forward to seeing your skill in person. I'm not one for exotic taste in fine dining. Bring me an earth dish worthy of the brigade, but suitable for my crescent regulars. Okay, interesting. In keeping with our traditions, I will serve as first judge of this final match. I've watched your skill grow with each match. It is my honor to test your merit. It's a chairman's privilege to request a taste profile as resplendent as himself. An unusual dish that harnesses all flavors in a powerful rainbow gem. 
That is what I ask of you. Well, that's a pain in the fucking ass, isn't it? How am I meant to do that, you son of a bitch? Oh, I have to switch my pots around. And on my left, Thorn the Blight Stalker. Hmm? Right. Bring me a dish worthy of my trophy wall. And don't disappoint me. Too many times in life I've sought, only to catch fire and crash back into the unforgiving ground. Give me something that makes me relive the taste of that fire and earth. Preferably a good pairing with dwarven red. This sounds difficult. For our final theme ingredient, we plunge from the highest of heights into the deepest depths to discover the last piece of Brigadier philosophy. Hydra. Unity. Lurking beneath the molten lakes of the caverns, the final theme in yes, it is the Hydra. That displays just how much scarier two heads are than one, and how truly terrifying six can be. The brigade could not stand if every member didn't work together, regardless of their role, their background, their skills. Those adventurous enough to trek deep into the mountains will come face to face with Victuja's master mutator, the deceptive Hydra! Alright, this is gonna be a bitch. Do we have to kill the actual Hydra head or the baby ones? For the it's right time parts. To go all out. Chefs, stun us with your visionary creations. Do we have infinite time? Let the final round begin! We can't win because we can't make a rainbow gem with the pots that we've got. Like it's not doable with what we've got available to us. All right, Hydra time. <laughs> Fuck you, Hydra. Ow. Ah, I keep falling in the lava. Eat a dick, Hydra! Eat a dick. Big Hydra again! Satchel foe. How am I meant to kill a Hydra then? Alright, there we go. Let's go drop our shit off and come back and grab more. Well, that's fire dealt with because Hydra's all fire. For some reason, despite the fact that it seems to be a water creature. Actually, it's living in lava, isn't it? So I guess that makes sense. There we go, lots of Hydra. That should keep us going for every meal, right? That should be enough for everything. I just don't think we got the cookware for this. I really don't. How much time we got? 10 minutes. So we had 10, well, probably more than 10 minutes. We probably had 15 minutes. I'll have that. You fuckers. Lapazard, you guys are always good for good ingredients. I'll take you. So much poison we got to deal with as well, and we don't have a chopping board. That's another problem. We don't have the uh, crock pot thing or the, the slow cooker, so there's no reason to start cooking now when we could just collect fuck tons of ingredients and finish up the entire thing in one go. That's the idea, hopefully. Ow. Son of a bitch! Alright, what else can we get around here? There's something down here, isn't there? More Lapazards, maybe? Fucking Cragmore! 
Eat a dick. Get Craig more bastard. These are good too. They're all fire. All the time. Lantern fruit. Too good. Okay. Okay. I think we should do one more load. And then we can start cooking. And if we cook efficiently, we might be okay. We're not going to win the Rainbow Gem one, but if we smash out the other two, it could, like, outbalance it so that we win anyway. Oh, there's that fox thing over here too, eh? Yeah, that. That's what we need. Those are like super rare, they're like the dragon. A one-off. High rarity type deal. Alright, that must... Hopefully that's enough. At least to get started. I don't even know who we're going to start with. Earth and Earth and Fire. Maybe we'll start with uh, the Earth and Fire Lady. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. But it has to have Hydra in it. So where's a bit of Hydra? We got bits over the top of other bits. There you go, Hydra Lungs. Earth and fire, that works perfectly. Get that cooking. Lapizard legs, beautiful. Beautiful. Turn that. Turn that. Alright, pick it up and drop it in the earth one. Cook! Lapizard back. Grass. Cheap she horn. Don't really want to use that. Sun hat, sun hat tomato. Uh, fucking fantabulous. Uh, that's Hydra. Earth and fire, earth and fire, earth and fire. Pull that over there. Alright, looking good, looking good. Uh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Not too much though. Man, those landing fruits are just too damn good, you know? Too damn good. I think we need a little bit more earth in this thing. And then we'll just we'll hand this one out straight away. It'll be fine. Oh. There you go, that's good enough. Earth and fire, that's you. Alright, now we need a plain earth dish. Let's uh, get on that. Earth. It needs to have hydra in it. You know, my parents came from a small village like yours. Hydra, 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 Hydra. They always said you leave a bit of where you're from in every dish. If that's Dragon, true, Hydra Nick. There's going to be more farming soil in here than I'd like. <laughs> hydra Quite Finn. So. There's no decent earth stuff here. Those two are on top of each other for some reason. But I guess we'll just drop... Uh, what's the least annoying bit of Hydra we could use? This one, I guess. Drop some Hydra Neck in there and then that'll do for Hydra, right? Cook. Not into this poison. Not a fan. Not a fan of having so much poison in here all the time. Alright, drop that in here. We got five minutes. We got a, we got a fair bit of time. We might be okay. We need to just condense it down real hard. I don't know how how good was the last one because we need to bring them all to about 200, I think, and we should be okay. All right, what else can we do with Earth? We need to get rid of that poison, but we'll worry about that later. Um. Alright, that's got rid of that. That's the only way I can do it without having a fucking chopping board. We'll drop that in. Then we got, yeah, we got more poison to deal with, but at the same time. At the same time. Shit. Oh, the bones don't matter. We can break them. Whoops. Because the bones aren't worth shit anyway. We got three minutes. We'll smash this one out. We do have to do the, uh,. 
The Rainbow Gym one, but... We're super careful. We can win this without you needing it. Hopefully. Drop that in here. Let's get rid of that water. Alright, what other earth can we put in it? Drop that in, and then we can just like earth and source it. And then boom! Earth. Shit loads of earth. Nice and easy. Just like that. Alright, that'll have to do. 210, that's pretty good. Earth, that's for you. Alright, now we need a mishmash, but unfortunately it's not going to work out because we can't make rainbow gems. That's a promote source. If we brought the thing that just drops a rainbow gem in, we'd probably be alright. Dude, look at that. There you go. Cook that up. That's ridiculous. That's so much fun. We'll just do as high a score item as we can for him. Without using the rainbow gem. Hopefully that'd be good enough. We still need to drop Hydra in it, of course. Yes. Alright, now let's drop it in the water one. Start merging this water out. Try and get rid of that. Alright, we got lots of water in here now. Uh, let's drop this one in. Let's give us a bit more water. Uh, we're gonna need some earth. In fact, there's basically fuck all earth even available to us. Is there anything we can cook out? Bring this out. Oh dear. I'm not liking the look of this one. I think this one's a bit of a worry. Loopier leg. Okay, there's a water in that one. We got no earth in it. That's going to be a major problem, I think. Alright, we're going to run off and we're going to find something that's got earth in it. Like these. These gourds have earth, right? No, they do not. Why don't they have earth? Is earth really rare around here? What about these mushrooms? There you go. The mushrooms are earth. Also poison, but we'll deal with that. Alright, let's load this thing up with mushrooms. And then we'll cook out the poison and then hopefully... It'll be good enough. I just want to win this. Just first attempt. Win this. Let it be so. Alright, we're just going to drop this in on its own. Cook. And we'll cook the poison out separately to the other dish. That is a boatload of poison right there. Holy crap. Oh crap. Crap, I need to spread it out. Drop that there. No, 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 no. Drop that in there. That's gonna have to do. Hope for the best. <laughs> hope for the best. Oh Christ, I hope that's good enough. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Oh my god, Let's look at that thing! The have to say about These guys can make some amazing stuff. Please be good enough. Excellent. Slime Core Meringue, topped with Hydronic and Hydronic Medley. The earth in this dish is phenomenal, even my pickiest regulars would be pleased. I'd offer you a job immediately, but your talent would make far greater places than my humble crescent. I wish you nothing but the best. 228. Wonderful. Steamed Hydra rolls topped with Hydra Neck and Quarry Cap Medley. The earth in this dish is phenomenal, even my pickiest regulars would be pleased. Expertly done. I'd be proud to serve this to my customers. I think I won that one. Good. Alright, round one goes to us. This looks amazing. Iceberg turnip pie garnish with earthen sauce and Quarry Cap melange. It is exactly as I wished. Rainbow is the undisputed star of this dish. You don't have a rainbow gem. Magnificent! You're raising the bar of excellence with each new dish. 218. Outstanding. 
Hydrofin soup with a side of Hydrofin and Sapphire Dew Melange. I expect a more harmonious taste with each taste in equal, powerful measure. These flavours are absolutely stunning, and I could gaze at your plating all day. I don't have a single complaint. 259. I think we won that one too, but amazingly. I approve. Lupia Fire Bladder Meatloaf, served with Hydrofin and Lapizard Back Melange. The fire and earth, the burn, the pain, I remember. Every monster is perfectly prepared. All that hunting really paid off. 224. Yes, good. Hydra steamed round rounds, topped with boron ribs and boron steak assortment. The fire, the earth, the burn, the pain, I remember. Incredible, I'd flay anyone who attempts to take this dish from me. <laughs> well, that's fucking extreme, lady. Jesus. And with that. The Iron Stomach earns her place in the brigade. Why was the first one the hardest one? The rest were easy. It is my joy to present Mina Han, our newest brigadier. I did it! You did it! Shit, we won by 100 points. 105. Our first dish was the highest scoring, though. By one point. They were all basically the same. I knew when I saw that spark in your eye that we had a winner. And I'm glad that I wasn't let down. Mina Han, well done. Well done indeed. Yeah, welcome to the brigade. I was moved watching you cook. Every chef should have as much determination as you do. Thank you, lieutenants. I can't wait to begin working. We did it, we're in the brigade. Everyone, please put your hands together for our newest battle chef, Mina Han. She did it? I knew she could do it. Go, Mimi! <laughs> the sister. Okay, that went better than I expected. This year's tournament has to have been our fiercest yet. I am so proud of all our contestants. The way our country's chefs fought back the monster epidemic was swift and decisive. Even now, our team is hard at work continuing to figure out the cause and the solution. Every one of the chefs before me took part in the safety of our people, putting aside their own hopes and dreams for the tournament. Today we celebrate the new members of the Battle Chef Brigade. They will go on to be ambassadors, protectors, providers, researchers, and pioneers. Like what Ladies good and gentlemen, your new Battle Chefs! And so, Mina joined the ranks of the Battle Chef Brigade, and it was the happiest moment of her life. Unfortunately, she had no time to rest on her hard-won laurels. The mystery of the mutation still loomed overhead. As it cut a swath throughout Victusia, the mutation touched many lives. Chapter complete! My god, there's still two more chapters? Come on, we won, right? Winner, winner, chicken dinner? Alright, well, before we start this chapter, we're going to end the episode here, because that took fucking ages, especially that first one, because I think I had to do it four times. It was my fourth attempt. Third or fourth attempt, but I actually beat her. But, yeah, we did it. We did it. The rest went smooth as. First attempt for the other two, no problem. Well, I guess we'll see what happens for the next chapter in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.